uh, two institutions that we must stay out of, the jails and the hospitals. Yes, sir. You go in the hospital with one thing, and then you come back out in a body bag if you are ah. in the hmm. Uh I went to the hospital here uh, for a cavity. They gave me, without me knowing, morphine. I went to a rally to speak at a rally in the housing project. I began to blank out, and it had rained that morning, and my body became hot. So I I left the podium, and I told people that I got to lay down. I laid in the grass. And you know, when they took me back to the mercy room, uh, the doctor said that's a good thing because that uh, that kind of uh, uh, brought my temperature down. But the Panthers was very wise. What they did, they stripped me of my buttons. They stripped me of my uniform because they said, if you're going to the hospital, we don't want them to know that they got one of our officers. Mm-hmm. Because I sure enough would not have come out of there. So we have to be careful that when we go in the hospitals and who we are, and you sign that paper, believe me, they're going to check and they'll find out who you are. We have to be very careful. Because yes, we're sir. going with one thing, and as I say, the men have come back in a body bag. So the hospital uh, for the black man and the black woman is very dangerous. Uh, 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 during the segregation days, we had black hospitals. And mm-hmm. we were worried about us coming out there in body bags. And when they mm-hmm. shut down the black hospitals and they getting to set up these uh, emergencies uh, rooms, emergency wards, uh, many of us begin to uh, lose our lives because uh, uh, the Caucasian, the European, have no interest in a healthy black man or uh, 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 a healthy black woman. So I just want to keep it real that we have to be very careful when we go in there. And uh, especially with our names, as we got uh, Islamic names, uh, we got uh, African names, and uh, we go in the hospitals, uh, we have to be very careful. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. And I, I agree upon it. And I'm, I'm going to add to that. I said before I go to the next program, I'm going to say this. I really believe that we should get some of our, the people that's in the medical field that's, that want to come into the party that's willing and they don't have this capitalistic mindset where we can start up a program to go into the neighborhood and we go and we check that, right. check the people's uh, right. blood pressure and we tell them what what to eat, what not that's to right. eat. We check them out, you know. That's and right. I, I I feel that's something that we should be doing. But we have to have the people that have a mindset that we have. They're not capitalists, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Now this is another program that I'm gonna come come up and talk about. Uh, I mean, this is a program that really made the Panthers. Every chapter had this program, and it was called the Free Breakfast for School Children program. I'm, I'm going to say something, and then I'm going to let you talk since you was back at that time, Chairman Cahal. Now, on a Monday, they would serve scrambled eggs, grits, uh, bacon, toast, and jelly, and juice or milk. Now, Tuesday, they would have hot cake, sausage, fresh fruit, hot chocolate. Wednesday, they would have eggs, home fries, ham, uh, toast, and jam, milk, or juice. Thursday, they would have French toast, bacon, fresh fruit, hot chocolate. And then Friday, they would have eggs, uh, grits, bacon, toast, and jam, milk, or juice. Now, I, I, I really believe that that program was really needed because many of the school children would go to school. They wouldn't have anything to eat, you know. Parents, you know, mom, my, mom and them, I don't know, don't know the social uh, economic structure of the family, but, you know, at that time, people were poor. They didn't have this and have that. So many times the children would go to school hungry, and then they would pass out in these schoolrooms because they, they didn't have anything inside of these systems.